Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to solve Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for October November 2023. I am going to solve the spreadsheet task. The web page task is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So, task for spreadsheet. You're going to create a spreadsheet to calculate the income and expenditure. Make sure all the currency values are set to dollars with two decimal places. Open N23 TGS.csv. So this is the required file. Let's make sure all the fields are visible properly. Save this as a spreadsheet with TGS followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. It should be saved as TGS followed by your center number and candidate number. And save as Excel workbook. Place in the header, left align your name, center number and candidate number and right align automated file name with the file path. So go to insert, header and footer. So on the left side, you need to add your candidate details. And on the right side, file name with the file path so you can select file path so that both the file name and path is shown now you can go to the normal view click on view normal insert two new columns to the left of column a so select we need two columns so select two columns here then right click insert so that two columns are inserted insert in column a the text as shown so from row 2 you need to type month then previous month so in row 2 i'll type month previous month And you need to type the name of the months so you can type January type the name of the first two months then you can replicate it and all of them are right aligned the previous month is on two lines so give wrap text so that is done decrease the width of column b now we need to format the spreadsheet this way so you can see the cell in row 1 from c to g are merged c to g merge and you need to give a black background and white text it is uh, center line merge and uh, 16 point white text so the font size is 16 now the same formatting is given for i2 l you can select this click on format painter and select i2 l here so the same formatting is applied now for this one also profit and loss you need to give wrap text Uh, 
and uh, this should be merged row 1 and 2 these are merged row column H and column M should be smaller like this all of these are center aligned So all the formatting is done. Place in cell G4 a function to calculate the total income for the month of January. So this is the income. You can see the various sources of income are shown here. We need to find the total for January. So Q equal to sum of all this. Place in cell L4 a function to calculate the total expenditure for the month of January. So equal to sum of expenditure. The profit is the total income minus the total expenditure it should be we have to place a formula in cell N4 so in cell N4 equal to total income so this is total income minus total expenditure this is the expenditure place in cell O4 a formula to calculate the balance at the end of January this is the balance from the month before added to this month's profit or loss. So we have calculated the profit or loss here. So the balance will be this plus the previous month's balance. So this is previous month's balance. So equal to this plus this value. replicate the formula entered in steps 11 to 14 so let's replicate apply appropriate formatting to all numeric data so all these data are currency values we need to set them to dollar to decimal place. So right click, format cells, currency, select dollar to decimal place. to adjust this you can plus click here below the slash press alt enter so that it stays as asked in the question this way next apply conditional formatting to all cells in n4 to n15 so that if the cell contains a negative number it is shown as white text on a red background so select all these cells N4 to N15. Click on conditional formatting, highlight cell rules. Negative number means it will be less than 0. So go to less than, select 0 here. 
and go to custom format the font color should be white and the fill color should be red okay place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the conditional formatting rule cell range and format so go to conditional formatting manage rules so this screenshot you need to take so this is step 17 evidence Save your spreadsheet, print your spreadsheet showing the formula. So save this. Now we need to show the formula. For that go to formulas, show formula. Make sure all the fields are visible. Just click here and double click on the border so that all the fields are visible. Make sure that the row and column headings are displayed. The page orientation is landscape and the contents are fully so go to file print option make sure it is landscape click on page setup go to sheet row and column headings should be visible and only row and column headings should be visible give ok So this can be printed. Next print your spreadsheet showing the values. So remove the formula adjust the width again and now this has to be printed. Make sure the printout fits on a single landscape page. Row and column headings are not displayed. So when you are printing file print make sure it is landscape and fit, fit the sheet on one page and also row and column headings should not be visible so go to page setup remove row and column headings So that can be printed. Now going back to the task. Next October donations were entered incorrectly. In October the donations were 42.10. So in October donation. So you need to change this 42.10. And we need to print this again in single landscape page without row and column headings displayed. So you can print this. We have all the previous settings. So this can be printed. Task 5 is printing the evidence document. So this is the evidence document for the task. You can print the evidence document. So the task is done. Thank you for now.